The Oilers continue this road trip with game number two, heading south to Dallas to face off against the Stars. Now, it will be all about the response for the Oilers after their loss to the Blues on Thursday night, but they'll face a Stars team that just put up nine goals against the Predators with seven different goal scorers. The Oilers know it will be a test, but they also know it's one they need. Yeah, obviously they're a really good team. You look at them in the standings and, and the success they've had so far this year. Um, and they do have a lot of offensive firepower. So I think for us, it's a, it's a good test, exactly what we need. Um, coming off a, a game where we gave up six, um, to go against a team that can, you know, has the ability to put up nine a night, it's uh, important for us to come up with that defensive mindset. I think we've been able to respond really well um, after poor performances. I think we... Um, Absolutely, Dallas coming off a huge win the other night. Um, I think it's just human nature just to play just good enough to win. And uh, when there's an opportunity to relax a little bit, it's just um, that happens. And um, we know it's going to be a really difficult game against a, a good team that's playing well right now. And um, our guys step up. They like that competition. They like that uh, that challenge. At practice on Friday, we saw Corey Perry skating alongside Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl on the top line. And Chris Knobloch confirmed that it's Calvin Pickard who will start against the Stars. While they've gone two and three since the All-Star break, there's a confidence in this team's ability to respond, and they know they've been in much more difficult situations before. Yeah, we're in... This is new to us right now. We went, you know, we didn't lose a game for so long. So when you lose, it feels, you know, it doesn't feel good. And uh, but you know, we're taking games. Uh, I think we're doing eight, eight games at a time, and we're focusing on winning five of those, and and that'll put us in a good spot and put us in the postseason. So that's that's our main focus. We know we're not going to win every game uh, to finish out the year, but I think just to keep our confidence. We know we're, we're a top team in the league, and. Uh, that's that's the biggest thing, you know. You can't get frustrated when we're we're not playing to our best. Just keep feeling good and uh, stick together and, and keep playing our game, and, and we'll win a lot of games. Yeah, I think. I mean, you talk about the the mental side of it. We've been in uh, some much darker places so far this season. So uh, to win one, lose one, and uh, you know, kind of the fashion that we have since getting back from the break. Um, I think we, we you know. For us, we've been in, like I said, much much worse spots, uh, and, and for us, we got to rely on the fact that uh, when we play the right way, uh, we can win, and we can win on any night against any team. So, um, you know, just getting back to the basics and, and being simple within our game, not so much uh, try to force, you know, cross ice plays, those those home run plays, and just you know, uh, being very patient in, in the way we approach the game tomorrow. For Oilers TV, I'm Paige Martin.